Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You are tuned in to ITV Channel 347 with myself, your Quranic teacher and tutor, Mu'adh Ibrahim. Inshallah ta'ala, today we will be commencing with lesson one on the Quranic reading course. In lesson one, we focus on the ten letters of the Arabic alphabet that carries the short vowels a e u so this is phase one which is the recognition recognition or identification phase so what we focus on in lesson one is letters in the independent shape they are not joined or attached to a letter before it or after it so when we look at the arabic alphabet we will find these are the 30 letters we come across what we must understand is that one is the name of these letters. For example, Alif, Hamza, Be, Te, Fe. That is the name of the letter. And one is, we need to know what sound the letter conveys when it carries a particular vowel. When it comes to Quranic reading, it is more important to know the sound the letter is conveying instead of knowing the name of the letter. And this is something we must be able to understand and make a distinction from the beginning. Because in the Quran, you will find vowels appearing on or below the letters. So we need to understand what sound does that vowel convey when it appears on or below the letter. So there are three short vowels we will first learn about. Looking from the right hand side, the very first one which appears above the letter. The dotted circle that you see there represents any Arabic letter. So the mark, what we call the short vowel or diacritical mark, is called Fatha or Zabr. When it appears below the letter in the middle, example we see Kasra or Zer. And on the extreme left, when it appears in a different shape, in a different form, above the letter, it is called Dhamma or Pesh. Now, the name is Fatha, Kasra, and Dhamma, or Zabar, Zer, Pesh. But the sound it conveys, for example, Fatha conveys a E uh sound. Kasra, a E sound. And Dhamma, a U sound. So, E, E, U. Now, these three short vowels, we are going to place them on those ten letters which we are learning today or below it. And then see what sound each one of those letters give. So, let us learn. The first one is the letter Alif. Looking from the right hand side, you can see E spelt with in English as A, the second one is E, and then followed by U. So, E, E, U. The second letter is called Hamza. This gives the same sound as Alif when we place a vowel on top of it. So, understand, the first one is called Alif, the second one is called Hamza. The moment you put a vowel above or below the first or second letter, it conveys the same sound. So the one at the bottom will be E, E, U. So this name is different, Alif and Hamza, but the sound both of them convey is the same. Moving on to the third letter, which is the letter B. The moment we put the short vowel Fatha, it gives the sound of B. Then it becomes B, Bu. The next letter is the letter T. We put a fatha on top of it, it becomes T. 
kasra is T and dhamma is tu. The fifth letter is the letter the. When we put a fatha, it is th. When we put a kasra, it is thi. Al-dhamma is thu. Th, thi, thu. Now, what we notice about these three letters? We notice that the shape of the bur, t, and th is the same. What is different, or what makes it different, is the dots that appear and the position of the dots. So, for example, bur has one dot below, t has two dots above, and th has three dots above. So, the difference in the number and position of the dots causes the letter to convey a different sound. Moving on to le the sixth letter, which is the letter jim, and put a fatha on top, it's called j, kasra j, dhamma ju. J, j, ju. Letter number seven is the letter h. The moment we put a fatha, we say h, kasra hi, dhamma hu. H, hi, hu. Letter number eight is the letter khe. We say kh for fatha, khi for kasra, and khu for dhamma. Kh, khi, khu. So what you notice of these three letters also, the shape is the same, identical. What makes it different? The j has a dot in the middle. H carries no dot at all, and H carries a dot above the letter. Moving on to letter number nine, which is D. Dal, Fatha, D, Kasra, D, Dhamma, Du. D, D, Du. And letter number ten, which is the last letter for today, is the letter Dal. We say the for fatha, the for kasra, and dhu for dhamma. The, the, dhu. So these are the ten letters carrying the sh three short vowels, a, e, u, which we learned for today. So what we can do, we can get access to the lesson. Either we have recorded it, or either you can go to the website www.itvnetworks.tv, or you can access it on the YouTube. What we have to do is to complete the homework which will be found on the website www.itvnetworks.tv. We first need to learn the ten letters times the three short vowels. Learn two a day. Two a day and use one day to do revision and on the seventh day inshallah we will do lesson two again. Secondly, you will also find the notes and the homework whereby you have certain exercises where you can test yourself. And the third thing you have to do is take the Quran or the Quranic pages 2, 3 and 4. Highlight all the letters that you've learned, the 10 that are carrying the short vowel E, E, U, which are in the independent shape only. Don't focus or concentrate on letters that are not in the independent sh shape. The moment you see a letter is attached to another letter, skip it out. So this is what you will find on the website as well. You will find page 2, Surah Al-Fatiha of the Quran. In blue, with a blue pen, circle all the letters carrying the short vowel, a. Uh. In black pen, you use the, you circle all the letters carrying the short vowel, e. And with a red pen, you circle all the ten letters carrying the short vowel, u. This can be done on page 2 of the Qur'an, as well as on page 3, Surah Baqarah, Alif Lam, Mim page, and on page 4. After circling it, you need to call out each letter that you have circled. And this will give you good practice on the 10 letters we have went through in today's lesson. Any questions or inquiries, you can contact myself on this cell number, 083-781-5576 or on Quran reading 114 at gmail.com. Inshallah ta'ala, you can tune in next time for lesson 2, channel 347, from myself. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
مرفوعة مطهرة كلا إنها تذكرة فمن شاء 